Dave says, he writes from Texas, what about your Mormon missionaries? I see them riding around towns on their bicycles. What is it that they do? This is crazy. This is nuts from the 18-year-old kid's point of view. I have so much respect for these guys, and I wish, honestly, more churches would do it. My best friend, Pat, his son, just left for a mission. For two years, he's not going to watch any TV or go to movies. He won't participate in any sports. He can't listen to any music outside the Mormon Tabernacle Choir. And what 18-year-old doesn't want to listen to that? You know, not all their music, just approved selections. I'm not kidding you. And they will devote all of their time to serving the people of Finland. That's where he's going to be stationed, in Finland preaching the word and reading the scriptures and then you know raking leaves if i don't know, do they have trees in finland i don't know he can only email his parents once a week with a 10 minute limit he cannot call home except on mother's day and on christmas and he will go door to door experiencing a lot of doors slammed in his face people yelling at him you know all the typical stuff that our college age kids do he will experience rejection and learn to overcome it. He will, in a very short time, know exactly what he believes and why he believes it, or he'll come home. But most importantly, he will live the exact opposite of a trophy society in a culture where I've got to go find myself while spending $50,000 a year and listen to munch, a bunch of Marxist professors at some liberal college. Are you kidding me? These guys do find themselves. May I recommend, I don't care what faith you are, please do this in your faith. It changes your children. It changes them. It's one of the reasons why Mormons are very successful, because they just, they know who they are at a very early age. They come home from their mission, and then they go hang out with Marxist professors usually. But they know what they believe. After two years of that, how much better... Would anyone be prepared for life? Self-reliance. It's pretty easy later in life after you experience that. I'm not trying to convert you. Um, there's no Mormonary, uh, Mormon missionary SWAT team sneaking up on your position right now that I'll tell you about. I just want you to... I just want you to... maybe take a second and consider that Mormons aren't weird. They just believe things that you might think are weird. But it's not weird to be a Mormon. Um, and it's not weird to be president if you're Mormon. 18% of Americans, and this is the point, 18% say they can't elect, and that's amazing. I mean, if you don't like Mayor Romney for a myriad of reasons, don't vote for him. But if you're, I mean, if he's, if he's not drinking coffee because of the hamster sacrifice in the temple, oh, did I say too much? That's weird. But if he's, if he doesn't drink coffee because he didn't want to be on edge, addicted, or unable to start his day like a caged animal without coffee, or he just wants to be obedient to something that he believes, that's not weird. That's a good thing. Back in a minute.